It is story time. Yay! You know, I love reading. And Miss Mickey, I picked out this book just for you. It's about butterflies. It's called The Butterfly. Miss Mickey loves butterflies. This is the front of the book. This is the back of the book. And this is the name of the author, the person who wrote the book. Now, two people wrote this book, and their names are Anna and Kathy. And I have a question. Have you ever wondered where butterflies come from? Well, in this book, you're going to meet a stripy caterpillar and watch what happens to the caterpillar. It's a mystery, but we're going to read about it. So let's open up the book and we're ready for a surprise. At the end of the garden, there's a little stripy caterpillar. Do you see it? Right there. What do you think that caterpillar's been doing all day? Hmm. We'll turn the page, and maybe the book will tell us. First, it ate up the leaf it was sitting on, and here it is. There's only a little bit of the leaf left. It ate it all. Then, the stripy caterpillar started munching on the next leaf. It just eats and eats. Now. There are a lot of other stripy caterpillars too. There's a teeny tiny green one. And then there's a very chunky yellow one. I see some more. There's a white one with lots of hair. And then there's a big fat fuzzy one. I just want to just feel it, and I can feel the picture, but it's not real, but it's beautiful. And all of them are eating as fast as they can. They are so hungry. They eat and eat and eat. The little stripy caterpillar is not so little anymore, but still it keeps on eating. Soon, it is even too fat for his own skin. So, it shrugs it off. You shrug with your shoulders. It shrugs it off just like an old coat. And then it eats some more. Whew. One day, the caterpillar stops eating. Perhaps it's full. It curls up under a leaf and falls asleep. Slowly, its skin becomes a shiny case. 